let's build out the infrastructure here server storage firewall let's add the network switch the cloud all of these things interconnected to provide for you that infrastructure that you need whether you're seeking a to stay with a legacy infrastructure or move closer to an automated infrastructure like cloud or converged or just automating an existing infrastructure um, there are a few things that you need to take into consideration when applying this technology, this infrastructure, to an ATO environment or a security baseline driven environment. An ATO is a U.S. federal standard, but a security baseline is universal. So some of these things hopefully will help you in the development of that strategy. SDN, certainly the first and foremost, is software defined networking, providing you with that consistency and predictability that you want from a network administration um, perspective and that the bad guy doesn't like, right? The bad guy focuses on environments that are not SDN enabled. He wants those environments where human error play a huge part of the network infrastructure. Remember, the network infrastructure is absolutely the engine that makes everything work inside of the infrastructure. High performance, you want to be able to, I'm sorry, I skipped non-impactful expansion. Let's talk about that first. In an ATO or a security baselined environment, expansion of components within that security baseline needs to be restricted to increase of capacity. And a leaf and spine network provides you with that increase of capacity without having to change out the switches and, and, and routers and things of that nature. And this is very important in a network infrastructure because the network touches every component of that ATO or that security baseline, almost every component, right? It's reaching the servers, the storage, the clients, the firewall. When you pull out or swap out a network switch, you have to redo all of the security controls related to that instance, that new switch or that new router or that new leaf or spine. So build the network right from the beginning. Put a spine in place and add new 40 gig ports as needed. Dongle them out to 10 gig and add those leaves. This is a very scalable and easy way and non-impactful, ATO friendly uh, for a network environment. And last but not least, it's high performance. So high performance in a leaf and spine infrastructure or in any infrastructure, quite honestly, is absolutely critical. And the leaf and spine provides for us that loop free shortest path routes that you just simply can't get in other technologies. So this is kind of a summary of how to build a, a network, an ATO friendly network infrastructure. Some of the key technologies you'll want to review are things like Neutron, for example, which is essentially a northbound SDN API driven environment, as well as other SDN type technologies. If you're running a VMware environment, uh, VMware's ESX, which is the old NICERA code, is a, is a good choice to look at. And if you're running other environments, Nuage is another great solution to look for. So there's lots of options out there. Provide, Get yourself, if you're managing a network infrastructure, get that solid baseline and build upon that baseline with non-impactful expansion.